I need you, I need you, I'm got baby, won't you let me down? Hey friends, welcome back to my channel or if you are new here, hi, my name is Liz. Thank you so much for clicking on this video today. I have got an exciting one. It's about the Mark Hill, if I can find the boxes. The Mark Hill new pick -a mix barrels. You might have seen them going around quite a lot because they were out quite a while ago. I forgot to do my intro when I did the first part that you'll see in a second. So here we are messy frizzy hair but in the next clip we're going back in time for when I tried the smoothing brush so I'm gonna jump into that make sure you are subscribed to my channel if you aren't already make sure to thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it if you want to see how I use the new Mark Hill barrels then keep on watching I need to get comfy. So as you can see by the title, it's a little bit of a different video for me. I don't normally do like sort of hair stuff. I'm more makeup, fashion. But I bought these new items, which I haven't even got by me. Bear with me. Saying that, I didn't even buy these. I had these for my birthday off my lovely boyfriend, Connor. So thank you to him. I wanted to do like sort of a review, a re review. Um, my hair, as you can see, is in a bun. It's a mess. Don't even want to talk about it. I will be reviewing the Mark Hill products, but I just want to mention already, I do have the base. Um, I have used this before. It's the one that looks like a mini hairdryer. I have used this before, so I know how this works. I have out. Also, I have used some of the other tools that go with this, so just bear that in mind. I have used the products before but not these ones. So the first one I'm going to be reviewing, also I'm not going to do these all in one because my hair will literally hate me and fry up. So if you see a different face, that's why, it's because it's a different day. So the first one I'm going to try out is the, they're called the pick -a mix So this is the smoothing brush and it does say new on the packaging, so I'm guessing it's new which is good. This is the hot brush barrel for use with the pick -a mix wand handle ceramic technology for taming hair and eliminating frizz. Reaches up to 185 degrees. The lovely Sabrina on the front there, she is gorgeous. So I'll pop up a thing of what it looks like. Now, I don't have the heat protectant spray but I've got my own wherever it is I got the Tresemme so always protect your hair and then the next one I'm going to test out is the straight and curl again it says new on the box and this one is a straightener style barrel for use with the pick mix one barrel creates sleek straight hair or curls and waves reaches up to 185 degrees again with the gorgeous Sabrina on the front so I thought I would test these ones out just because they are new-ish. I did also get the Mermaid Waver, which is unique three prong barrel for use with the pick and mix model. Creates quick and easy waves. Now I have used something like this before and it doesn't say new on the box, so I think I'm gonna skip this one for today. Maybe I will include it in a vlog, maybe. Let me know if you wanna see that like a quick summary in a vlog of me using it. So today I'm going to be testing out just these two because these are the new ones. And yeah, like I said, I'm going to start with the smoothing brush. Now this intrigued me so much because as you can see, obviously ignore my hair right now, it is a mess. Um, I washed it two days ago. So yeah, this one intrigued me because I have, as you can see, quite frizzy hair and it does say it tames or eliminates frizz so I'm very excited it's quite heavy which is good that goes into the top and clips in and all I know is you can't use this as a hair dryer 
do not use it as a hairdryer. It's basically as a like straightener, but with a brush. This is gonna be very interesting. I can't wait to use it. Maybe I'll get up on my phone how much all these are. So let's go on Boots because I know Boots is quite good with Mark Hill stuff. And I know Boots, when, we, when I looked on the website, um, they had three for two. That's why I asked for three different ones, because of me as well. Oh, they have a hairdryer. Wow, I didn't know they had so many styling stuff. Where is it? Yeah, they do still have the three for two on, so that is amazing. And yeah, okay, that before and after is amazing. Individually, they're $16.99. They're all $16.99, so that's good to know. So it doesn't say to not use as a hairdryer, but I'm gonna put that out there now. It does say to not put it near water, so do not use this as a hair dryer. It's basically a hair straightener. You wouldn't use hair straighteners on wet or damp hair, so don't do it with this, just saying. So I'm gonna pop that on now. Where's the heat mat? I'm literally losing everything today. I didn't even get it out of the drawer, so that's great. Also, my sister bought me this for my birthday and I have been using it and it is really good. It's the Tangle Teaser brush. Not sure what it's called, but I'll link that down below as well. So, let's get this main out of the bun. I do need to give it a good brush before obviously going in with it. Still smells really good. I used the Garnier hair mask on it overnight the other night, which definitely recommend. I think I used the coconut one, I can't remember, coconut and macadamia, which is the blue one. Highly rate them. If you do have frizzy hair, which I probably should have used, um, as you can see, very, very frizzy. I used the brown mask from Garnier, which again, I can't remember. I think it's got like cocoa something in it, but that was really nice. I definitely recommend that if you have frizzy hair because it really did tame my frizz because I blow dried it and it actually went quite straight. This is air dried, but as you can see, it's very, very frizzy. I haven't seen anyone use this yet either, so that's gonna be fun. Uh, maybe I should have watched the tutorial first just to see how it's properly done. But that's, that's why I'm doing this video, trial and error, you know? So I am gonna split my hair into two, I think, and do the top separately because it does say to take large sections. I'm going to spray it with a little bit of heat protectant even though I already put a little bit in my hair when it was wet. I've been meaning to do this video for a while now since my birthday. It was the 13th of October but I've been like tidying my room, getting that sorted and sorting out my beauty room as well, which I still need to do. That's probably the main reason why I'm filming in my bedroom today. But yeah. Also, sorry if you can hear the wind and rain outside. It is a very autumn winter day today, which is, I'm not gonna lie, I am here for it. I'm not gonna complain because I love a wet and windy day. Okay, so I think my hair is reasonably dry now. Um, also I'm looking at this way because my mirror is this way. I obviously didn't want to put it right in front of the camera, you know? Also sorry if this video is like a mess. I think I might turn my lights down as well because I'm not used to the natural massive window lights coming in. I have my ring light on too high but I hope that's a little bit better. Yeah, sorry if this video is all over the place. I am not a professional hairdresser. I'm a makeup artist. Let's just put that there now. So let's get a big chunk of hair at the front of my head. I don't know whether it's hot enough. I think it is. Okay, so, first impression. Okay, it's 
doing something. You do need to go over it a few times, I feel. Let's do the top and the bottom. Maybe I should do one half of my head first and then see. I definitely feel like it's putting less heat on my hair, which is amazing. Okay. I'm actually quite impressed at the moment. I wouldn't say it's got rid of all the frizz. But my hair is very frizzy. But as you can see, it's a lot shinier, it's a lot straighter than this side. To be fair, now I'm looking at it side by side, it is a lot smoother. Okay, so I think I'm gonna quickly do this half of my head and we'll like compare. I feel like it's not gonna leave that smell in my hair either. Like, you know when you go over your hair so many times, it starts to smell like hair straighteners. It's getting there. It's definitely smoothed it. I think I need to go slower. I love the concept and obviously you can see that it's getting straighter. But obviously if you want an easier way of quickly straightening your hair um, then this is a brilliant way. Oh, I apologise about the sun. <laughs> That's the thing about getting daylight. I can definitely feel it's hot. It's definitely made a difference. Like you can see it definitely has. Would I say it's as good as straighteners? Definitely not. Would I use it as like a everyday sort of tame frizz? Yes. Um, if I was going out on a night out, I would not use this to straighten my hair. Definitely not. But it is a really good idea to tame the frizz and help it obviously not look as frizzy. So I'm going to go and do the rest of my head now and I will be right back. So I'll speed this up. Okay, so seems we only straightened my hair with a brush. What do you think? I think it hasn't done a bad job. Even though it still is a little bit frizzy, um, obviously in places like the front here, I would probably just go over with hair straighteners. But other than that, as easy as it was, it hasn't done that bad of a job. Like yeah i actually don't mind it what do you guys think if you have obviously sorry about the light again if you obviously have less frizzy hair than me then it's going to be amazing for you but i do have very frizzy hair as it is so seems it's done a decent job i don't think it's that bad i would definitely go at the house like this yeah so overall, I'd probably give it about a 7 out of 10, just because of the fact that it didn't obviously straighten much around here and there's still a little bit of frizz. But I think I can get away with leaving the house like this with my hair down. I am very, very pleased with that. And for what it is, and it's 16.99, and you can straighten your hair with a brush. This lighting is not good if you probably would have split your hair into more layers than what i did maybe you could get a better outcome but to be honest this outcome is amazing anyway yeah like i said the only thing that i would do is get a pair of straighteners and straighten the front bits here just go over it a little bit because some bits are still a little bit frizzy but other than that it's like done the job so yeah so like I said I'm not gonna go ahead and do the straight and curl today I'm probably gonna do it either tomorrow or some other day 
just because I don't want to fry my hair so when I wash it next I will do that so it's just gonna be a couple of seconds for you guys what do you guys think let me know down below I will link the barrel down below and the attachment the one I use but I'll obviously skip ahead now to me using the straighten curl okay we are back as you can see as well my background is slightly different um, I did film that first half a few weeks ago but yeah I've only had the chance to do it now I've been working non-stop and just have another time you know after work should be doing it but yeah I have moved this candle back as well hopefully I don't put my hair in it and burn my hair fingers crossed for me but yeah let's carry on so I've got I haven't even turned it on I've got the straight and curl here by Mark Hill obviously like I mentioned in the first half I have used this before just never this but yeah this is new i hope i believe straightener style barrel for use with the pick a mix wand handle creates sleek straight hair or curls and waves so what i've got planned is i've just washed my hair and i've let it air dry um let me take this out because it might still be a bit wet no i think we're all good like obviously you can see my hair i'm gonna be scared about that all this video um, my hair is very frizzy, it's very wild. I have blow dried it, so it is quite wild. Um, I normally have it in a middle parting, and as you can see, it's just like fallen, fallen into it, so that's amazing. And I've also forgotten to grab a bobble. So what I'm gonna do is part my hair all the way down and split it into two parts. I'm just gonna get my hair and so I don't frazzle my hair I'm going to straighten one side and then curl the other but what I like to do when I have straighteners I normally like to straighten this part and then curl the bottom so I think that's what I'm gonna do maybe I should do that on both sides because I have got to do an outro for a different video in a second if you do want to see how I created this like natural sort of makeup not natural but like you know soft glam if you want to call it then go head over to my Q&A get ready with me that should be up before this video so what I'm gonna do is pin this out the way now like I said in the first half I'm not a hairdresser I'm no good with hair. What I'm gonna do is gather all my hair and I'm gonna split this into two halves like so and I'm just going to tie the top half out of the way. I have blow dried it, well I've tried to blow dry it straight but obviously it's still gonna be, yeah, yeah. So it's warming up nicely I have got extremely long hair maybe I should put you down a little bit this is very confusing I am scared and I'm scared to keep my hair in this part if I want to put it in the camera yeah in this part like yeah this bit isn't hot which is great for me so what I'm gonna do first is take a little section at the front here and we'll see okay yes it's not as I don't know I don't know I think that's what I'm definitely gonna do I'm just gonna straighten the top and then we'll kill the bottom because you can clearly see that that is straightening very well but I'm gonna try not to go over it too much Liz Jesus Christ I don't normally do the pin kills either where you like wrap it around normally like I twist it and it like twists with it I don't know if that made any sense whatsoever but okay so maybe I should start to curl it I want my hair to actually look nice for work tomorrow so I'm hoping this goes to plan but yeah so far so good no hairs are trapped in the barrel 
which is great for me. Okay, so I normally start from the back to front, but I'm gonna do it front to back. Is that too small? Oh, guys, I'm fucking useless. So what I'm gonna do is go like this. Ah. <gasps> Oh my god. Ah, it made a curl. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. It made a curl. Can you see that? I don't want it to kill my ends too much. I don't know how people do kills from front to back. But yeah, that made a gorgeous looking curl. So let's go in with that again. So it is basically like using a hair straightener. But you're just like, oh my god, guys, don't even bother with the hair straighteners. You can just use this. Did that work? Did that work? Did that work? Oh my god. Oh my god. Why am I getting so scared? That worked. Oh, look at that. Okay, I'm loving this. I don't know how well my hair is going to keep the curl because, as you can tell, I do have very long hair um by tomorrow morning i might have fallen out so i do need to do it more at the root oh my hair didn't like that see i thought we would have to go like this but it's not I am not very good when it comes to hair. Makeup, fine. Curling my hair, my god I'm shit. But if you are a person who straightens your hair, uh, curls your hair with straighteners, this is definitely the way forward. I needed a bigger mirror, I'm not gonna lie. It's so smooth. Let's do a bigger piece. I don't know why that would make a difference but it might it's not gonna leave like kinks in your hair because you know when you use a straightener and it sort of leaves lines it's definitely not gonna do that with this okay so let's just stand up oh guys those are gorgeous like i said we'll see how well it keeps the curl in but so far so good so i'm gonna go and do the rest of this half of my head and then after that i will come back to this half and what i'm gonna do is straighten the whole bottom bit and then see what that looks like like properly straighten it so speed time <laughs> Okay, this is giving me jib. What are you doing? We are gonna go on to the other side now. I am very impressed with this, I have to admit. Okay, so I've just hit 760 subscribers. Wow, thank you so much. It is mind blowing that I'm only, was it like 40 away from 800? And like the other day I was, 100 so now i'm gonna do the other side i did do three sections on each side because that's what my hair my hair is quite long and thick this brush as well tangle teaser i think it's called like the smoothing brush it's lovely okay so now i have to admit it's not the best at like 
fully straightening the hair. It doesn't clamp down onto the hair as well as normal straighteners would. It does do a really nice job, like it looks nice and shiny. You can see that it's got rid of all my frizz and it just looks, it does look lovely. But I am going to curl it. It does do a nice job. I probably wouldn't use them fully to straighten my whole head. I would probably mainly use them for straighten and curl because like it says on the box straight and curl for people out there like me who have frizzy hair and they like to straighten this half before curling because otherwise it'll just be a frizzy curly mess then this is definitely the product for you um so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and curl the rest of my head Okay, so that has done an amazing job. Like I said, I wouldn't necessarily straighten my whole hair with this just because when you clamp it, it doesn't clamp very tightly. Is that the way to say it? But like I said, quickly straightening it and then curling it with it is so easy. Um, as you can see, the curls are so gorgeous. Like, I'm sorry, but so good. So that is literally all my hair. You can see that it's straight in the top, but it's also curled the bottom. Hopefully you can see that. So overall, I think I prefer this one to the smoothing brush and I did actually really like that. But I feel like this is super quick, super easy, ready to go. I'm going to try and curl this again because this was giving me drip earlier. This goes the wrong way but oh well, that's sort of how I wanted it. But yeah. Oh my god, I'm super excited about this. It looks super silky, it looks soft, and it's just done a, an easy job. It's worked out well. Can't go wrong. There is a few flyaways because that's just my hair, you know. But overall, I would probably give that about a 9 out of 10. If the straightening bit clamped down a little bit more then I'd probably give it 10 to be honest. This says it reaches up to 185 degrees, handle sold separately. So overall I think both barrels worked really well. I feel like the smoothing brush I need to use again and I will let you know in a future vlog. Um, I'll do that with both of them, like I'll do it with this one as well. I'll tell you how I'm getting on with them because honestly at the moment I really do like them both um, and they don't leave my hair smelling burnt. Do you know what I mean? Like when I used to have the Babyliss, Babyliss ones, they used to be like metal, so they would stink like burning metal and then they would transfer it onto my hair. 
but it doesn't do that with this so I'm very happy with that. That is my overall opinion on this one. I would definitely buy that again because it is super easy and as you could see by the beginning of this video my hair was very very frizzy curly well it was more frizzy because I brushed out the curls whilst I was blow drying it but yeah we'll see how long these last in my hair because like I said my hair tends to drop quite easily um but yeah other than that how did you like them what do you think which one do you think you would prefer let me know in the comments down below let me know if you are interested in buying them i will link them in the description box down below so go check that out i know boots has a three for two on their pick mix so i really hope you enjoyed this video guys i hope this gave you a little bit more of an insight to the mark hill products i definitely definitely recommend if you are not a hair person like me, then you will definitely get along with these because they are super easy to use. Um, I just need a little bit of like hairspray maybe and a little bit of like oil to get these frizzy bits down. But yeah, overall really like them. Definitely worth 16 99 each. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel before you leave. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Let me know any video ideas down below in the comments and stay safe and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.